hello guys welcome to rich boy tech channel we are building a bank today and i'm showing you how to control everything in the bank as you can see this bank name is chase online bank this is the bank home page this is where you register as a user okay so i'm going to show you the manager side of the bank yeah this is the manager side of the bank this is where you control everything both user this is where you make deposits make block account this is where you do everything this is the control panel of the bank so as you can see we have total zero users we have total zero users on this bank so let's try and create a user so i'm going to use two method i'm trying i'm going to create a user using the bank itself and the second method i'll try and create a user using the control panel that's the manager side so as you can see it's total zero users let me try and create an account so i'm creating an account using the user side williams david mike so let me create an account for you guys Let's go for savings accounts, currency, US dollars. You can choose euro or pounds. So you can just put any pin that you can remember. Put your four digit pin, then your password. Then click on submit. Voila, as you can see the account is created, David Mike Williams. The account is created. So this is the first method of creating an account. So let's refresh. You see one user, so an account will be created. So I'm going to create another account using the control panel, using the manager side. So to do that, you click on create a new user, put your first name, your middle name, your last name, username, your email, phone number, date of birth. Uh, address nationality account type then you uh, upload a photo a photo let me just upload the random photo then put your password then click on register the account has successfully registered so we now have two users so this is joe the one i created now and david the one i created before you can see david two minutes ago and Joe 32 seconds ago so now we have successfully created an account so the next step is to is to make transfer sorry the next step is to let's check the account let's check the account first you can see Fred Henry Joe so you can log in the account using the manager size you log in account as Fred click on proceed voila so this is the account second account i just created as you can see so you can fund your account you can change picture reset passwords let's fund the account let's fund it with uh let's say they just fund it with a random amount fund select a uh, account then description just look right fund funding then you can put the dates you want the money to be funded so let's just put a random date though you put time am yeah. then you can choose to send email to the user or not so let me send email to the user that's email alerts so you can see the account have been funded with two million dollars let's refresh the accounts Let's refresh. Voila, you can see 20 million Naira. So let's check the email. You can see a credit alert indication of the email. 20 million USD. So you can see the date and time and the name of the bank. Everything is accurate. So 20 million. So let's try transfer. 
no okay let's try and reduce let's try and deduct and debit the account let's debit the account with for uh, forty thousand dollars so debit means you have to read uh, subtract why fund you have to add so we are trying to subtract forty thousand out of this 20 million usd so just follow the same procedure just make sure that you select the bit when trying to like subtract so click on fund account as you can see the money has been debited let's refresh the user you can see the user have done 19 million so you can see the transaction debit 40 credit 20 million so you can see the transaction history you can add more transaction history if you like you can add up to 100 or any amount so the next step is to, um, let's try and transfer from the user accounts uh, let's try transfer oh wait let's try let me check uh okay you can do many things you can block the account let's try and block the account you can block the account if you want you can let's block the account so accounts have been blocked you can see the accounts have been blocked so you can see unblock the account account have been unblocked you can see the account is opening you can block an account you can block an account so let's try and do some transaction let's try and do some transaction in this bank note this account contain manager side and user side this is the manager side so this is where you people you see withdrawals made on the user accounts This is where you send email to users. If you want to send email to any user of your of the bank, this is where you send email. Okay, this is the settings. This is where you put the name of the bank, the address. If you want to turn on SMS, this is where you put the logo. If you want to change the logo of the bank, this is where you do that. So, okay, this is where you select transfer code there are three options you can decide to off it you can decide to own it okay this is where you put the email of the bank this is where you change the currency you can see have your currency this is the kyc so i'm i'm disabling all this i don't want them to be so you can uh, enable it if you like so this is the place you set up email sender to automatically send email to your users and this is where you change the color of the of the bank so let's try and make transfer so we have logged in the user which is fred john fred joe so let's try and transfer to bank of america account name john doe account number let's just put a random number I bam put a random number, shift code, random number, then bank address. Just put a random bank address, then country, USA. USA. Account type online banking, then you put the amount you want to transfer. So let's say, let's transfer $5,000. Pull description, you can add anything as a description. Let's say, fund the for goods transfer so it will demand three so it will demand you to preview the account you can see you can preview the account to make sure you are sending to the right account then click on proceed so it will demand for three code first of all the imf code that is international monetary fund code so let's go and look for the imf code of the accounts go to the accounts Click on manage, scroll down, you will see the IMF code. So look at the code. Copy the IMF code. Paste it. Click on continue. It will demand for two extra code. So let's go to the second one. Swift code. 
So go back, you see Swift code. Go back to the manager, you see Swift code there. Then go back to the user and paste the Swift code. So remaining ones, then demand for COT, that is cost of transfer. Yes, demand for cost of transfer code. So you, you go there and copy the code. So you can decide to off all the code. You can decide to use two code. You can decide to use one code. You can decide to use all the code. Depend on how you want to use it. You understand? So look at it. Transferred. Just probably say transfer done. Success. So you have to go back to the manager section to approve this 5,000. So let's approve this 5,000 naira transaction. Then go to transfer transaction. You look for the look at it. You can see it's pending. You have to go to the manager account to approve it or reject or anything. You can click on paid, reject or hold. So let's click on paid. Then put the dates you want. Put the date you want the money to be paid or just put your dates you know what to do mind you this is for educational purpose only so you click on proceed you can see it will be approved process so let's go to the user and refresh it let's refresh it from pending to processed yeah you can see it will be processed five thousand dollars and it will be debited from the 19 million so you can see so you can add more transactions if you like you can do many transactions if you like so this is where you can select the code if you want to off the imf code if you want to off the switch code or if you want to off the cot you can start to off it so for this account let's off all the code and see how to make transfer with that code you can see all the three code have a switch off so let's go and make transfer and check if they will demand for the IMF code, SWIFT code, and the COT code. So all the code will be off. So let's make another transfer again. Let's say Bank of America, blah, 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 IBAN, random number, Florida, USA, the country, United States of America, online banking. Let's try and transfer 3,000 US dollars description for service so click on transfer you will see it will not demand for any code so you can see preview proceed uh, proceed it will not demand for any code because all the code have been turned off you can see, voila successfully transferred so you have to go back to the manager side to approve it so you can decide to off the code if you want, can decide to off turn on one, turn on the second one, or turn off turn on the third one. The OTP code is the email code. So this is the code. This is the email alert. This is where you receive any alerts on the account as a user. This is the user email. So if you receive debit alerts, credit alerts, any transaction that occurs in your bank. And allow will be sent to your email. So this is the email of the user. So let's go back to the account and check transaction. So this is the transaction history. You can add more transactions if you like. So this is the profile. So let's log out. Mm. So they have to session this way you log in, the manager login, and this is the user login. So they have two different login. You have one for the manager section and one for the user section. So the next step, let's go to the live chats. You can let's go to the live charts. So let's test the live chat out. You can see the live chat is working. Click on accept charts. So this is the live chat section. You can chat with any user that is currently on the bank. How can I help you? You can see the message reflects. Let's say I want to make a transfer send. Let's go back to the live chats. You can see it. I want to make a transfer. 
okay so that is how the live chats work so if you have any question just let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching and this for educational purpose only please bye